Yawn. Huh? A guest? At this hour? Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we get go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And look at that, Pika Blue. You're looking all nice and everything, even though your name is Meryl and all that stuff. We humans live alongside Pokemon and as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with, e with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Well, let's do that introduction right now. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to our very first episode right here of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. And this right here is a special kind of a remake uh, drop for all of you guys for helping me reach 7,000 sub subscribers right here on YouTube. Yes guys, no longer am I at 6,000. I've been stuck in 6,000 subscribers for three years, three whole years, and, well, if there was anything good that came out of this whole pandemic, it's this. 7,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for subscribing, believing in me, and helping me reach more goals, which of course you guys already know, I kind of want to reach 10,000 sub sub subscribers by the end of the year, if we can do that. But right now, let's just entertain you guys with a little bit of Heart Gold right here. So yes, I am a man living in a boy's world right here in Heart Gold, and yes, I am a boy. So please tell me your name. Well, you guys already know the name right here. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, be proper this time, and uh, go with... Uh, uppercase and lowercase uh, letters right here so let's go with that right there and no not draved but we're gonna be going with draven right here okay your name is draven yes sir my name is draven draven are you ready your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold fun experiences difficult experiences there's so many there's so much waiting for you dreams adventure let's go to the world of pokemon I'll see you later. Okay, so we're about to shrink to a proper size right here. So, any of you guys, welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. First time I'm ever playing Heart Gold ever. I mean, it's not anything different from Soul Silver. If you guys may remember when I was Draven XC711, played Soul Silver twice. Once, it was successful, 69 episodes in all, if you guys remember that at all. I had to delete it because it got partnered and there was a big big restriction on you know music and all that stuff and I did do intros with other people's music second one I had to delete it because of this whole mass deletion of Draven XC711 converting myself into gym leader Draven and the reason why I'm playing heart gold right now is because you know what let's try something new I know that I have a redemption tour that I have to cover but this I think this will be the redemption tour so enough about that let's go right ahead and take a look at the PC right here that we've been left and as you can see, we do have one message, and it's from our buddy, My Lyra, I should say. And yes, let's go ahead and read it. It says, Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! Lyra. And she does have a peak blue as well. So, let's get the heck out of here. As you can see, Johto has a TV right here, and we have our Nintendo Wii. It's a Wii! Wii is huge in Johto, too! That is pretty cool. Very, very cool. So let's go right and see, right, right ahead and see our mama right here. As you can see, mama. Hi, Draven. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where his lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Not really. Here, use this bag to carry things. Look at that, that's one little option right there. This is your trainer card. Look at that, it's popping up like nothing else. And here you go, and here you can uh, save a rec uh, and record your progress. And look at that, bam. These are also rather helpful too. And look at that, we got options. Just try, just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Okay. Alrighty, first order of business, 
we gotta change the speed on this uh this uh this typing right here because really why do they start with slow typing and all that stuff or mid typing and all that and then uh let's go to frame number 10 right here because it looks pretty awesome look at that frame number 10 of course is team rocket's uh theme right there why did seriously why do the bad guys always have some cool stuff right there anywho let's go right ahead and take a look at our trainer card as you can see right here we're mm, stunning looking sexy as ever that's right Gym Leader Driven is good in the looks department. As you can see, we got eight gym badges that we're about to uh, play for. And, well, as you can see, it's May 22nd as I am recording this in anticipation to our 7,000 subscribers. Which, again, I am thanking all of you guys for helping me reach that goal. Now, I know there's going to be an asshole out there. It's going to be that person to subscribe and then unsubscribe. Bring me back down to 699, 6,999. Don't be that guy, seriously. Don't be that guy. Anywho, let's go and find uh, Professor Elm right here. And, uh, well, we're walking around. Oh, no, no, look at that. Pika Blue attacked me. The hell? Oh, and there's our other Biffle, Lyra. New character to this Heart Gold Soul Silver series. And look at that. Now you notice each other. And Pika Blue is running away. Of course, that's a marrow right there. But I like to call it Pika Blue because that's what we called it back in the day. Anywho, I'm just going to waste a little bit of time right here, and I'm just going to be walking around. Of course, we can't run right now, and uh, I really I really dig the, well, the aesthetics of this whole game right here. I don't know. It has a, well, Pokemon Black and White has a has a run for its money and all that stuff. Now talk to this guy. Hi, Draven. Lyra's upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon, as usual. You didn't bring your Pokemon? Oh, I should have known. You don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, Draven. I don't know how you may have hurt my feelings, but okay. Alright, I'm not flipping you off at all. Not. Okay, so here's Lara and with her um, Meryl, and she's like, Draven, Professor Ellen was looking for you. Did you go look at his lab? No, not really. I'm just, you know, chilling like a villain, all that stuff. Yeah, just take a look at the whole place. Getting the lay of the land and all that stuff, because uh, we're manly man. And yes, yo, Draven! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. And, well, let's go right in here. And who might this be? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. The, this fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Sigh. I wish I could become a researcher like him. Wow, there is somebody that wants to aspire to be him? That's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's I guess that's awesome, I guess. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this person. I like your bag. Okay, and uh, before we reach to that guy, let's go up here and uh, see what this is all about. And, of course, this is Professor Elm's wife. Hi, Draven. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's got up in his uh, Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. You know, he, he's downstairs, right? He never leaves the house, technically. I'm just saying. I don't even know. Pokemon World could be a confusing place. And if you talk to this little guy right here, he's like, when I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great professor. Or Pokemon professor. Okay. All right. Whatever you say, homeboy. If you can do it, then you can achieve it. All righty. So let's go down right here. And let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at this guy right now. This guy. Da -da -da. So... This is the this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Damn! He pushes us. Still, he pushes us in a regular game, hack game, and in a remake game. What the hell, man? Seriously, what did I ever do to you? And well, unlike the hack game, we all know who, who whose daddy, uh, you know, who who his daddy is. It so let's not get that confused. By the way, how are you guys enjoying my Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough? Yes, we're almost done, but there's a shit ton of episodes on that one right there. Anywho, it's finally time to reveal who our next Pokemon will be our starter. Now, if you talk to this guy, let's see what he has to say. Huh? Me? Yeah. I'm not the professor. He's at the back room, or back of, of the room. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here, and look at that. Professor Holmes like, Hi, Draven. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? Something about Pokemon evolution, right? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like uh, your friend Lara does. 
Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how the Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Look at that, he's getting an email right here. And look at this. Uh, oh, hey, I got an email. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about this, his discoverings. Anyways, I got I just got an email from him and saying that this is this this time it's real. So he might be the guy that cries wolf, right? I don't even know. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy on, with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can you can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Look at that, right over there. Okay, so he's talking about the starter Pokemon. Okay, so I guess it's time to choose the starter Pokemon because, uh, yeah, I gave you guys the option to choose my starter Pokemon for Pokemon Heart Gold. And this is because, well, you guys will eventually find out, dep depending on when I hit 7,000 subscribers, the news will break out saying that, you know, the reason why you're going to pick Heart Gold starter is because, me personally, I'm going to choose their starter for Pokemon X. So. It's a fair trade-off, right? I don't even know. The reason why I'm choosing X walkthrough or um, my my X starter is because I already got a team planned out for it. It's a team that I've rolled with in the Kalos region. So yeah, you know what? Let's go right ahead and let you guys choose my remake uh, starter right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what kind of starters we have right here. It says touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon's inside. As you can see. There are three starters in the Johto region, one being Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon right here. And, well, out of the three, it's probably the worst. The worst Pokemon to actually have in this region, or, yeah, in this region right here, because, uh, yeah. The first two gym leaders, flying type Pokemon and bug type Pokemon, yeah. Some of its weaknesses and all that stuff. And, well, because it does have weakness and all that crud, it does have a w bad you know, move pool and all that stuff, but it does make up for it for its uh, st base stats and all that stuff, a 318, I believe. Now, the next Pokemon right here is our good old buddy, Cyndaquil, a fire jet Pokemon. As you guys may have known, you guys chose this Pokemon right here in Pokemon Crystal. I do have him in Liquid Crystal as Cinder as well, and, well, you guys were very, very, uh, very very happy with this uh, with how the Pokemon went in Pokemon Crystal and you guys may may have wanted him right here now the next Pokemon right here is a good old buddy Totodile right here the water alligator crocodile whatever he is yeah crocodile alligator I don't even know water type Pokemon right here now originally if I hadn't given you guys the choice of picking my Pokemon yes Totodile would have been the guy for this job right here but I may have chosen him in Pokemon Liquid Crystal as Irwin, as you guys may have known, and well, it does evolve early, does have some good stats, but it, yeah, it's mainly a physical attacker, not much special, but there are a lot of water type Pokemon out there that are way better than this guy right here, so I'm kind of glad that you guys didn't choose him, so to choose our starter Pokemon, well, you guys already know, I already know, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back Cinder. Cyndaquil the Cinder. And uh, yes, we're going to be choosing this guy right here. Look at that. Bam! So we've received Cinder, or Cyndaquil right here. That's his given name. And we're going to be giving him a special name right here. Yes, I bequeath to you the proper name of a badass Pokemon, Cinder. Probably misspelled them wrong. Oh wow, that's yeah, that's misspelled. Okay, hold on, just a sec. My bad. I'm going. A I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. So here we go. Sin. Dare. Okay. There we go. Now, again, if I didn't give the choice, it would have been Tortodile. Hell, I might have even choose the uh, what was it? Uh, Chikorita, just to have all three starter Pokemon chosen. But you guys have made your voice clear. Yes, I'm choosing Cyndaquil for all of you guys. So let's go. 
bequeath the name Cinder. Yes, I'm going to give them the, the Pokemon name Cinder. And now, as you can see, you can walk with your Pokemon just like you did in Pokemon Yellow, which is a pretty cool feature right here. Should have, you know, continued that, that trend in later iterations right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's like, how do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not that bad, right? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's easy to use, just like, uh, just check the PC on my, uh, on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City, so go north a little past the Cherry Grove. I'm getting on you, Draven. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our cool buddy Cinder right here. Look at that, he's happy. He's poking at your feet. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon right now. Cinder. Okay, I love saying his name, I really do. If you guys don't remember, I kind of nicknamed him after a, what was it, Killer Instinct character. Yeah, it just came up the top of my head right here. So, as you can see, Cyndaquil, Cinder. He is a little quick-tempered, calm nature and all that crud. And, well, as you can see, it's physical attack not that great right now. But eventually, we'll be a good attacker and all that stuff. As you can see, uh, its ability is Blaze, and he does have two attacks, which is Tackle and Leer. Eventually, you'll learn some pretty damn good moves right here in this remake game. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at its Pokedex uh, entry right here. Oh, wait, we don't have a Pokedex. Duh. Okay, so we're going to end the episode right here, guys. First episode is just to show you guys which Pokemon you guys picked. Now, if you guys are wondering what my team will be on this, trust me, guys, there's going to be some surprises, and there's going to be some old faces that you might see in here. Um, in Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold, you're able to go up to Generation 4? I don't think you can hit 5 yet, but yeah, Generation 4. Once you, well, as you probably already know, I will be featuring some of the old Pokemon that I've had in the first four generations from Pokemon Yellow, Leaf Green, uh, what was it, what was the other one, uh, Crystal of course, uh, and in Pokemon Platinum, so, who knows, we might even make a Mega Team by the time we hit the Elite Four for the first time, second time, hell, we might even challenge Red with a Super Mega Team combined with the four, first four teams that we've ever had. So, I'm excited, guys. I'm very, very excited. And, well, again, thanks to you guys for helping me reach 7,000 subscribers. Let's get 10,000 by the end of the year. And, uh, well, hopefully by... Yeah, hopefully this whole coronavirus will end pretty soon right here. So, stay safe, guys. Thank you once again. I will see you guys for the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. See you guys. Oh, and by the way... Uh, Hope you guys like the background that I put on there. Didn't even mention that, but yeah, all gold and everything. See you guys. <laughs>